Today's topic, Robert Downey Jr. So if you aren't aware, Robert Downey Jr. was on the Joe Rogan podcast last week and talked about his role in Tropic Thunder, in which he played an Australian actor in blackface. And in doing so, talking about it casually, the clip went viral. A whole bunch of news media outlets picked it up and they started dragging Robert Downey Jr. for acting in blackface. I mean, you mentioned Robert Downey Jr. Um, you know, I've talked to a bunch of people about, about the Robert Downey Jr. role in, in Tropic Thunder. You know, Robert Downey Jr. did blackface, and, right. and no one was really upset. I was he, upset. kind of did it pretty, <laughs> oh, you were upset? I was clearly upset, yeah. That's why I brought that up. Okay, why is that? It's just not fair, man. I, I think, you know... They like to pull the wool over our eyes sometimes and make us think that something is cool because a certain person is doing it. But blackface is blackface. It was used as a tool to oppress black people because they didn't want to see our faces on stage. And it should never be duplicated or, or replicated. I don't know if this guy watched the movie. Blackface is the erasure of black people using a white character to substitute for a black character. Robert Downey Jr. wasn't playing a black character. He was playing a white actor. Fact, one of the co-stars is a black person who constantly calls him out on his attempt at trying to be black. So you have both sides of it. And my thing is, this is clearly entertainment. This is clearly meant to talk about a specific topic. And my question is, if I want to bring up blackface, if I want to represent the history of America that involves blackface, how do I, represent blackface on stage without getting a white character to be in blackface. But that, you, if, if I was to get a black character in blackface, it would defeat the purpose because it's not blackface. It would be like saying because the fact that slavery happened that... You can't show black people in chains. Listen, I think you guys have taken this way further than it needs to go. It's not that deep. It's really not. You guys have to separate. Not every time that you get pulled over by a cop that it is because of Sometimes you were going too f***ing fast. Okay? Yeah. An actor is actually just embodying a role. It's never acceptable. It's never, it's never funny. How dare he? You know how unfair? Yes, he's trying to highlight how unfair it is. That's why the black character is also present because he calls him out on how unfair it is. Y'all don't give a f*** about context. You just don't. Like, y'all see a headline and you don't click to read the article. Like, you guys see a book and you look at the title on the cover and you walk away. You guys think you've understood it just off the title. I'm like, no, you gotta. I actually went to go watch the movie because I'm like, what are y'all talking about? And I watch it. I'm like, are you guys dumb? Are you guys dumb? Is you dumb? <laughs> Genuinely, I got so upset when I finished the movie because not only was I laughing, but I'm like, how can you guys be this dumb? They're, they're too busy being pissed off and triggered that they forgot about the fact that that's exactly what they're talking about. Not only you're saying that white Bruh. people cannot do whiteface, Bruh. but white people cannot even talk about it. Bruh. Because them talking about it is them using their white privilege and this and that. Like, they're making fun of that. They're saying that that is ridiculous. Bruv, I'm starting to think that there's a fake outrage machine somewhere out there and they're just manufacturing stuff. Oh, there is. It's built by the media. It's built by a lot of things. It's built, built by the people. I would be convinced I would be convinced that it is that in this case if it wasn't for the fact that I know dumb people like this in real life. Yeah, of course, plenty. They are part of the machine that makes this thing going. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it is. I know people like that. And like, I got the, all the crayons that I can use, all the diagrams and stuff like that to explain them what it was and how it is not that. But they don't care. People do not care about context. They don't. They don't give it. It's too demanding. It's just, I got triggered and I'm right. Because if it feels bad, it's bad. Well, you know, it's not because you feel like you're falling that you're actually falling. Maybe you're in a roller coaster. You understand? It's not real danger. It's really easy and lazy to just go like, oh, that's what happened. And not look at the context. Because it takes some time and intelligence to understand what was happening. Because you have to dissect. If you just get the things right there in your face and you just base yourself on that, then of course you fall into the trap and then boom, there you go, you're triggered. And then there, there goes an outrage and stuff like that. You know, we were talking about this the other day. We, you have to have a comedic intelligence. You have to have the intelligence to decipher stuff with it's first degree, second degree. You know, there's some people that are incapable of understanding sarcasm. Uh, there's people that are not able to understand first degree, second degree. 
Yeah. That's part of that. So, That's the level of the comedic intelligence that happens and people don't rely on that. It's too demanding. All right. Well, look, that's it for today's video. Tell us what you guys think about this whole issue. We want to hear from you guys. Do you really? This is a dumb issue. This is just this dumb. This is not an issue. They're trying to make a thing out of something that's not a thing. See, go.